All right, now next is entertainment. We want to show Steve a good time, but, well, we don't know too much about what he likes. The best thing I know for breaking the ice and getting people acquainted is some good mixer games. Oh, but they can be such a bore if you don't have good ones. Well, let's go to the library and get some good magazines and books and find some really good games. Oh, terrific. I'll do that. And show them a wonderful time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and show everyone a nice time. This is a new game they're trying out at the Clacton Holiday Camp. Not exactly a game of skill, though you do play it on a marked board or sheet. But there are no pieces to play with. You have to use yourself. The arrow tells you where to put your hands and feet, and the idea is to overbalance your opponent. It sounds as complicated as the things that happen when you play it. call it the twister and the makers say it's guaranteed to tie you up in knots what you might call a new idea in spectator sport you get a twisted knee while the rest of the family doubles up laughing it's hoped that party givers will bring out the twister to get things going trouble is it's the sort of party that looks like a contortionist field meeting It's a case of making sure you win hands down without putting your feet up. This is the game where everyone has a turn. Four can play it too, and if you really want to wreath the place in smiles and writhes, you can have whole teams of people falling all over the place. Results collapse of whole party. Amusing and tricky, though hardly a dangerous game. For competitors who preferred not to get themselves wet if they could help it, transport was laid on. Unconventional by our standards, admittedly. But on the other hand, these boats are not really so far removed from the coracles of Wales and the tub-like basket craft seen in parts of the Far East. Tubs might not be accepted at Henley, nor perhaps ever rival other means of water transport. But as a source of entertainment, they'll go down with a splash. Friend wants a closer look. This peeping puppet is one of a new collection devised and made by Roger Stevenson. And he's presenting a puppet parade to an admiring audience at a Filey holiday camp. She's dreaming of Joe. And everyone knows about Joe. She is dreaming of Fred, and everyone's read about Fred. She's dreaming of nobody, but she can't resist the latest seaside craze of sun signs. Here at Bogner, the craze began. It soon spread. Everyone's walking around with sticking plaster on their backs waiting for the sun to leave a white tattoo. lover of Fred to find her patience has been rewarded. But patience isn't everyone's strong point. 